So today I thought I would bring you back to school to go and check on the animals. We obviously have our chicks which are still incubating. I think they're due to come out on Thursday and we need to check on the tadpole, see how they have gone with the whole weekend. I need to feed the snails, I need to clean up Rupert. So I thought I'd bring you along. This week I am going to be doing cleaning and sorting and all those boring things and then next week I'm gonna to get to do a bit of teaching with some of you which are still coming into school so I thought I'd bring you along so you can see what the animals are doing and what they're up to I'm still at home and this is my cat <laughs> he loves being outside Thank you. So I thought I'd bring you along, keep you updated. I'm hoping to do a bit of reading for you guys soon. So if you do see this video, make sure you're sharing it with all of the other people in Oak Class so that everyone can get some updates and some stories. And if we're lucky, I may be able to convince some of the other teachers to film some videos for you guys too. So there's a few jobs. I'm gonna clear out the tadpoles and then we can see how big they are. See if they've got any legs yet. You just sort out all these toilet rolls for Trevor. Give some water to the stick insects. Clean and feed Rupert. He's hiding there. And then check on the snails, the eggs, and Janet. So I know that some of you have collected some worms for the tadpoles. So basically I need to clean out all the leftover worms and change the water because it's gone this very strange yellowy color. So I'm gonna first, thing, I'm gonna fish out all the tadpoles, get all the rocks out and things and then we can get them some clean water. So I fished them all out and put them in this jug. And then I filled up with fresh water, but I need to use this to make sure that the water isn't harmful for the tadpoles. So I've put everything back inside for them. They're currently still in the jug, just so that the temperature of the water in the jug meets the temperature of the water in there because it's still a little bit too cold in there but as you can see i've moved it out into the sun so hopefully it'll all kind of get to the same temperature soon and they may <laughs> develop a little bit quicker when it's a bit warmer so while those are warming up we're going to have a check on the eggs so let's see three more days to go and they are 37.5 celsius which is the temperature they need to be. We'll listen really carefully, see if we can hear any cheeping. They can't hear any yet, but hopefully about Thursday, we'll start to hear some cheeping and hopefully catch it on camera. So I'm just checking on Sid, our leaf insect, and I noticed he had shed his skin, so he must be a bit bigger now. Um, this bit of shed skin was just hanging from the branch. So he'll be in there somewhere. I can see a little bit of yellow. He'll be in there somewhere. So I'm gonna open it up properly now, give the brambles a little bit of water because they've still got enough greenness to them and then take him out and see if he's any bigger. They definitely need some water. They've drunk all of their water. Yep. He definitely looks a little bit bigger. He looks very pretty. I'll take him outside so you can see his colours a little bit better. And he's swaying because he's trying to look like a leaf in the wind. And there you go. He's happily eating this newly watered leaf. We need to water the brambles for James as well. And James is just there. He is uh, camouflaging as a stick very, very well. So that's the stick and the leaf insect done, James and Sid. Shall we see if we can wake up Trevor? Good afternoon, Trevor. Hello there. We've got a scratch. Oh, and he's gone down his tunnel. Trevor's got enough water and his sand looks really clean. 
but he needs more food. Would you like a toilet roll? <laughs> We've got lots here for you. So it looks like Janet has enough hay still. She definitely needs some snacks. Good morning, Janet. Janet is <laughs> putting as many snacks as she can into her cheeks before she goes back to bed. And Trevor <laughs> is enjoying his toilet roll. I need to clean out Rupert next, but first I need to go and print some things off. I've done a big tidy up and found lots of dice. Hello. Hmm. There's some poo there and a little bit over there. I'm also going to do his water change, so I need to get two big bottles, so five litres worth of water out and then put five litres of clean water back in. And I bought a new scraper so I can clean the glass before I put the clean water in because it's left all this gunky stuff. Now this is algae, which is caused by all the things which are in here, the plants, the worms, Rupert. So I need to clean all the algae off before I put the clean water in. Okay, so the clean water's in there. So I turn this one on, the bubbles will start. And then hopefully when I turn this one on, the filter will start. I have to just move this though, because Otherwise the water sprays out the back. And then I can put the little lid on. I feed Rupert two different types of worms. Well, they're both blood worms, but these are tiny blood worms. And these ones are big and juicy blood worms. So now it's time to check the snails. I need to take the spiders off and the dinosaurs. We did have some basil but it looks like they've had enough of that and now it's gone off. Need to get some more. So I did have some potatoes in there for the snails but the potatoes have actually grown <laughs> and rooted themselves um, so <laughs> I'm just going to leave those in there because maybe the snails will eat the potato plant. I need to get some more goodies because all they have left is a little bit of carrot. So I'm going to go see if I can find some dandelions. Lots of brambles. Ooh, pile of sticks. Oh, I just saw a bunny over there. <sighs> oh, I don't know if that captured or not, but there was a little bunny running around. Um, it doesn't really look like there are any dandelions left out here. Wild bunnies must have eaten them all. Let's see if I can find some nice bramble leaves instead. I've only got a few, but they will do for now and then I'll bring in some lettuce tomorrow for them. Check on the tadpoles over here. How are they doing? They look a lot more settled. I'll pop 
these around and then bring some more food in for them tomorrow. George has woken up and he's starting to get up. Hello. Can I put you in here so you can eat your new food? Look how tidy it is in here. Me, Mrs. Knights, Mrs. Lund and Mr. Pets have been tidying all day. Let's see how the snails are. Oh, <laughs> George is definitely awake. Oh, and I did buy Trevor. Oh, I bought him some treats, so maybe in his secret drawer. Aha! Heart treat. Put it in here next to his sweet corn. See if he finds that. All of our toilet paper hoarding. Perfect. So I'm just going to turn off all the switches that we need to turn off, making sure we're not turning off the eggs or the snails. We need to clean up this mud, which is from the snails. There you go. So Jake and George are sorted, the eggs are sorted, Rupert sorted, Janet sorted, Trevor is definitely sorted, James and Sid are sorted. I'm definitely going to be taking this home. Coat on the floor. So I've got them fish food because this is actually what they like eating. So you take a little pinch of this food and sprinkle it in and they can eat that tonight and tomorrow. Bye apples. Okay, before I shut the blinds, let's see how many you can do. How many did you get? And um, before I go home, I'm just gonna quickly water our plants. See a little press, the oak glass. So if you'd like to pause the video and read it at home. And these are your challenges for the week. Hello. Bye to the tadpoles, bye to Sid, bye to James, bye to Trevor, bye to Janet, the eggs, Jake and George and Rupert. And goodbye Jim at home. So I'm back from school, the sun is setting, it's been a really busy day, lots of tidying, lots of cleaning and it's been really nice to hang out with the animals today. I saw a couple of you at school so hello to those of you who I saw. So thank you very much for watching, if you do have any questions or comments please be free to leave them down below and I will try and reply to them as quick as I can. Share it with all of your friends and any other people in Oak class and I will see you really soon, bye!